previously on Two Texans Travel. We left our month-long campground in Granbury, Texas and headed to McKinney Falls in Austin, Texas. Good morning. So you may be wondering what our plan is for this stupid tire. Well, we are headed to Pflugerville, which is about 20 miles from our campsite, north of Austin. We called some RV repair shops yesterday in hopes that someone could take a look at it. We found one that seemed nice on the phone and so they would take our trailer in, look at it, let us know what the problem was and give us an estimate and then either fix it right then or in a day or if they have to order a part, they would let us take the trailer, live in it until they got the part in and then fix it in a day when they get the part. So we're hoping that it'll work out. Maybe they'll just have the part right there and fix it today. But we all know you only get that chance once. And we already did that in Wyoming. So that's the plan. We have been diligently getting hooked up and everything packed up again. We've only been here since Sunday evening and it is Tuesday morning so spent one rainy day here and now we're moving and we're here till Friday we're supposed to leave Friday so we'll just see what happens the rest of the week here we don't really know it's all up in the air and of course whenever I plan out campground stays the most I've ever planned I might have to cancel them so that's how it goes, I guess. <laughs> Maybe the rule is don't plan at all, ever. But that's what we're gonna do. Everything's cool, we're safe, that's what matters. This tire should be fine to go another 20 miles or 40, depending on if we have to bring it back here and then back over there, so I guess 60. Um, but that's the plan. That's what we're doing and safety first at two texans travel and that is not safe so we stop all fun and we go get our problems fixed so that's what we're doing today all right i will catch up with you later how do you feel about today uh i am super excited it's gonna be awesome so you had to go get gas this morning why don't you tell me about that <laughs> So we're like right outside of Austin. It's really foggy and wet this morning. Eight o'clock on the dot. Oh, I gotta go get gas before we tow the trailer. Had to go three, no, one and a half miles. And it took me 20 minutes. Everyone's hawking at each other. They're flipping each other off, dude. This town is mean. <laughs> it's very frustrating. And we're about to go get back into it. Yeah, with this on the back. Yeah. And it's wet. It's gonna be slow as fast. It's gonna be a fun one today, folks. They didn't say it would be boring, and it's not. So, let's get a move on. Is it 8 a.m.? No, it's 9.45 here in Austin. Look what these people have to deal with every day, every single day. Commuting to work. Why? Money? Nah. <laughs> no thanks. And we gotta pull our trailer through it to do what? Get an inspection on our undercarriage. Oh my gosh. But Mark is doing a great job getting us through the traffic. Reminds me of uh, the tollway in Addison, mm -hmm. Dallas. Yeah. On the way over here to 35, we were going kind of in the back streets from our state park. And it's pretty sketchy, nasty, 
lots of homeless like, like a tent city the homeless capital of the world in here and there everywhere you look there's tent cities mm -hmm. homeless tents it's pretty bad um, it's real bad been to Austin a few times not super often even living in Texas and I don't know I guess maybe some of these streets are cool in here but or like murals like that people get excited about I'm not sure I guess we're more nature and it's just rough man just rough life and cities you can see it you can see how the hardships happen and then just count your blessings that we are able to go take our trailer to the shop to get it fixed but anyway kind of not fun this morning on many accounts all right so we have made it to a place called shoreline boat and rv repair place back here Ooh, pretty cool and we talked to the guy and once again we are driving away from our home leaving it in good hands i hope we're gonna go left Bye. See you soon. And their tech is going to look at it, check out the axle, see what the heck is going on, and probably will take a couple of hours labor, he said. So, yay. More money burnt through quickly. But anyway, we need to get the problem sorted. We get to leave our home but I like dropping it in the middle of their parking lot so they can move it around <laughs> that's fun all right we're gonna go to a place called Georgetown which is about 15 minutes up the road from here and there's a blue hole park and we're just gonna check it out cuz what else do you do whenever you don't have a home anymore you go look at blue holes I don't know weird all right bye so we've made it to georgetown which is just north of austin there is a place called blue hole park and we're gonna go check it out we're gonna bring the gopro because it's very rainy misty nasty out and skipper is extremely excited to see the blue hole, excited to see blue hole. and we're doing this to pass the time while our trailer gets looked at we're doing free things that are around so we hope it's cool and not a waste of time. <laughs> All right, let's go.
out here at Shoreline Boat and RV and we got our estimate and we figured out what the problem is. Bin axle. Um, Should have taken those out before we backed in. Crap. Yeah, that's okay, go ahead. Bent axle. So now we are in the waiting game. They need to order the part. Five to five days to two weeks. So they're trying to get a nailed down timeline because we on the road. So we can't wait two weeks. Yeah, we're looking at like 1200 bucks to replace all this stuff and it's just not pretty under that. It's not pretty under the undercarriage here. So that's what we're doing. Okay, let's get out of here, get back to the park and figure out how to cancel all of our plans that I made, how to find a new park to go to, and all that fun. RV life, yeah. We're almost back to McKinney Falls State Park. And yeah, we don't know whether we're laughing or crying right now. Dude, we've already been here. <laughs> <laughs> we just like to take the trailer with us. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> They're like, you need to check in? No. <laughs> We've already been here. <laughs> we, we used to have trust issues. <laughs> <laughs> we don't trust your park. Oh. So we take our trailer with us wherever we go. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh. Never done this here before. Woohoo! spot away. Thank goodness. What's that? I said everything's being ridiculous. Our whole couch is falling forward. Move it out of the way so we can slide out. He's never used to move before. The heater fell out of the here. Out of the cabinet? Yeah. It's like a that's never happened before. Ready? Yes. What is that?
What the hell was that? What the hell is that noise? It's on the outside. Did you hear that clicking? Yes. That's not beeping or nothing. No. It's. It sounded like the freaking trailer brakes, but they're unplugged. No, it sounded like the slide tracking, like it was oh. still trying to go. So after getting the trailer estimate, hauling it all the way back to camp, resetting everything back up, we spent the rest of the evening exploring the area with the drone. Up next on Two Texans Travel, we find another waterfall in McKinney Falls, move the trailer to a new campground in Austin, and find even more hiking trails in the capital city. Okay. Well, just cheers. cheers. Like and subscribe. Damn it. <laughs> Don't say damn it, you can still use it. Okay. Try Is it 8 a.m.? No. Nine. <laughs> it's. What's it ever going to show it? Barely. 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 Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Is it 8 a.m.? No. It's 9.45. Look at these people Can who live here have to do. I made it brighter so you can see. Oh. Let's start over. We're looking for bass. Uh, yeah, $1,200 we're looking at, so. Yeah, we're looking at like 1200 bucks to replace all this. Cool. Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs>